How fast does glass shatter? Is it faster than a speeding bullet? Also, what happens when you shoot glass? We've got tempered glass, plate glass. We're gonna try to answer that question. And as a bonus, we're gonna see what it looks like to get shot at in super slow motion. Yep, so we're gonna use a variety of weapon systems. We've got a couple pistols, couple rifles, probably throw a shotgun in there for some gratuitous violence and just kind of see what happens when you blast away at some glass. So yeah, welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. Alrighty guys, here's our first setup. As you can see, we've got our go-to graph paper here. Yep, glass and a way to analyze the data from breaking it. We're gonna do one of my favorite frame rates, quarter million. Quarter million. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Alrighty, we're gonna get started with a good old fashioned nine millimeter full metal jacket out of a Glock 19. So just like right at the top of the sticker? Yep, high speed ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I expected it to shatter. I mean, we've got enough distance of crack to calculate the speed, but I thought this whole pane was going down. I did too. Crazy. That is kind of cool. This is super thin, normal plate glass. Whoa, what is that? What the? It's like that a crack vibrating. is still growing. Yeah. I bet that's what you were talking about, where you expected like the vibration to tear it apart. I think the vibration is so oh. minuscule that the gaps in the layers of the glass is just going. Right. So that's why it's like changing its density and well, that's kind of cool. I'll do it from frame by frame on that. That's some fierce travel. It got basically all of its main cracking done before the bullet became flush with it. Right, the, yeah. That's fast. It looks like it's glitching. It's like the dynamics are so complex that reality can't simulate it fast <laughs> enough. All right, continuing on, we're gonna bump up. We're gonna stay pistol, but we're gonna move up to a 45 full metal jacket out of the Sig Sauer P220. Okay, I'm rolling and ready. Okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Yeah. Woo, bigger cracks. The holes are almost the same size, despite the 45 being so much fatter. Right. I think a, another factor is something called impulse time, which is just how long an object actually interacts with something, imparting its energy into okay. it. And since bullets are so fast, I just don't think there's much time to get the mass moving. Gotcha, okay. That looks like lightning. Oh, there's that crack oh. from the nine millimeter coming yeah. back. That's the tip of it right there. Oh, that extra stress. Okay. It, it behaves just like lightning. So it did have an effect over on the nine millimeter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just barely. Alrighty, moving up into rifles. We're gonna start with a 223 out of a good old fashioned AR platform. High speed ready. Woo, more action. That looks different from here. So actual impact hole is smaller, but overall crackage is either the same or slightly less. Oh, that shadow graph of the Ooh. mock cone. Yeah. It's got like Oh, the, two of them. Yeah, look at the cone behind it. It's so fast, it's igniting glass. Some of that vibration stuff yep. again. All right, moving up in the rifles, we have 7.62 by 51 out of this Harbinger multi-caliber rifle. And if you happen to notice, this one was sent to us. That is the, this is the Terran Tactical Edition, and this was featured in the John Wick movies. And high speed's ready on you. Okay. Oh! Finally broke something. Finally! <laughs> I think two of the crack lines finally met and severed that whole piece off. Yeah. We finally knocked some off. <laughs> <laughs> well, if someone ever asks you, it takes four bullets to break a pane of glass. Apparently. I am thoroughly surprised by that. So pretty. Man. Whoa. 
same thing where we get a lot more longer cracks. Interesting. All the cracking happens within like a millisecond and then it's just frozen. Well, we've got three more of these panes. What do you say we have some fun with buckshot? Yeah, I say we side angle and just watch it. Beautiful. Alrighty, and then just for fun, we have some nine pellet buckshot out of this 12 gauge Remington 870. Always rusty, but forever trusty. We've done some science. I think we can have some fun. Yeah. We've got some buckshot and three panes of plate glass here. And it looks like you've got a nice side view over there, so we'll get to see it. Yeah as it blasts through all three Off of Off in these. the wilderness, yeah. we've got a phantom. <laughs> we've got the old Shelves 1T2 sticker on there. It's a buddy of mine. You can check him out on Instagram. That's his handle. You're all good. High speed's ready. Three, two. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> I think I saw Shelves sticker like hover really? for a second <laughs> before it fell. <laughs> There's simultaneously not a lot to look at, but also a lot to look at. This is what I thought and expected the other shots to do to <laughs> <Yeah>. the glass. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> that's cool. They act like meteors. Oh my gosh, look at all so that cool. dust. Watch how the cracks just keep adding to itself as more come through. Just layers upon layers. Oh, those patterns are so cool. Yeah, I'm surprised at how, um, how much of it like turned to a powder. Good like dust. Yeah. I'm trying to think of physics simulations and like video game software, all that kind of stuff, trying to simulate this happening. Yeah. All the dynamics. So I've played around with Unreal Engine and it has stuff like this, but not on this time scale. Right. I think we need to add to the interest even more and get some tempered glass. Do you think it's gonna fall apart? Tempered glass is fun. It always falls apart. It always falls apart. That's yeah. what it's like made to do, right? Correct. It's like a safety feature. It, yeah. it breaks apart so you don't have that, the, the sharp edges. And... All right, well, this was a bit of a personal addition for me. <laughs> yeah. A, a somewhat damaged window from one of my personal vehicles. But it's tempered glass. So I say we just kind of try to nick the edge and just get that whole distance for it to travel across. Yeah. I. Not even against the idea, kind of like you said, even if I miss, but just kind of yeah. walk and see if we can get a glance. If not, I mean, if we hit it anywhere, yeah. it's fine. But if we could pull that off, that'd be that sweet. That would be cool. From what I've seen, they just... It's pretty <laughs> rapid. Just work it in however you see fit. Hey, this is weird. High speed ready. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was moving like ever so slightly. Well, we're gonna have to check the high speed, but I bet you just nicked that corner. You can just see the difference. Like I wouldn't even do this on the other one, but you can just... Yeah. It's I just... mean, it's still, it still can be sharp. It's just yeah. each piece is so much smaller. <laughs> oh, look at oh, that. That was pretty good though. <laughs> it was right God, on that edge. So fast. And if you do a frame by frame, look how fierce that travel is. Oh my gosh, it's gone. It's like 10 frames. There's so much potential energy stored in this glass that when it finally cracks, some of it does not care about gravity and it shoots up. Right. All yeah. that energy getting released. It's like a spring force. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> That's wow. insane. That's got to be several times the speed of sound, at least. So cool. Wow. That's insane. What a good shot. Having a lot of room to watch it propagate across like that was pretty cool. All right. So we've just got tempered glass with a grid so we can get a real good calculation on how fast this stuff is breaking. What'd you say we're running this one at? We're going to be at 400,000 frames a second. The window is pretty tight on this, so good luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this should be able to give us exactly how fast this cracks. Just gone. I mean, it's not even through and the whole screen is. Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> that is so fast. So we're basically reflecting an image off this mirror towards the 2512 Phantom and if everything lines up, we should see a bullet coming at the viewer. 
and then all of a sudden shatter this tempered glass. Basically get one chance. I hope I've done my job aiming the camera in the mirror well. Now it's on you to shoot it well. well don't put pressure on me. Too late. <laughs> High speed is rolling on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, things oh, got shot. Good. Is that your muzzle flare? Whoa. Oh, it sure is. And then it collapsing back down behind it. That's that signature flare from your gun. Here it comes, slowly getting brighter and coming into focus. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. So we're gonna see a bullet hit itself into the yeah. mirror. <laughs> you should see a ripple, even though it's out of focus. Yep. Oh! It's like water. <laughs> what? Just think about the complex physics that are happening in each path, having to decide which molecules of silicon are a little bit easier to get through than others. Because yep. it's it's just like electricity, least resistance, right? Half of least resistance. That's such a weird angle and perspective on this. You know what's weird was aiming at a $300,000 camera and pulling the trigger. <laughs> I'm sure that was weird. This is gonna be a race. Yes. Bullet versus glass crack propagation. Yeah. We're gonna shoot one just above all this so that Bryce can do some editing magic. And then I'm gonna try and manage to hit one right here in the side. It's literally exactly it's... the width of the bullet. <laughs> That's gonna be a challenge. Yeah. I think we already know that glass cracks faster than a bullet. It's right. just how much faster. Yep. And we're using this 223. It's just the fastest round we have out here right now. We know there's faster, but I've never seen something in a in a high speed shot outpace a bullet in the same frame. Right. That's yeah. what's going to be cool about it. Yep. I'm excited. Let's see if we can make it happen. You're aiming for the center, right? Yeah. Okay. On you. Damn, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that was not an easy shot. Good grief. <laughs> My God. This is over 600 times slower than you can perceive, and yeah. it's basically instant. Right. Yeah. Oh, look. You split the bullet in half with the glass. What? You hit it so perfectly. Yeah, look, the tip hit it exactly in the center. <laughs> you, you hit it so perfectly, it split the bullet in half. You split a bullet with tempered glass. Nice. I don't even know what to think <laughs> about that. Here's our finale for the episode. Yeah. We've got two panes of tempered glass from a Ford Escape. I'm just gonna finish it off with the buckshot. Hell yeah. Nine pellet double op buck from a 12 gauge. I'm curious to see because one pellet's gonna hit before all the others. Yep. Will that make the entire window spread with fracture before the next pellet even gets to hit it? So it's a race. Like, is that how fast the glass cracks or will we get multiple spots of the glass cracking? My vote is it's way too fast. The cracking is too yeah. fast. I think only one gets to hit it while it's cracking. Well, I'll take the other then. All right then. <laughs> Loser gets spaghetti. I hope I lose. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two. <laughs> what? 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 What is that? The sticker held it together again. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, these are some good stickers. <laughs> Did we just get two? Shock waves impacting each other and intersect. Look at that. Well, I definitely lost the bet, but it's so cool, I don't even <laughs> care. Those two hit like exactly the same time. Two frames later, look at that. Two cracks of glass meeting and going, oh, yeah. hello. <laughs> oh, hi. 
It's like a new shock wave. See how it's like kind of dense with cracks? It gets even oh, more yeah. dense, like adds it cracks to it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know we had fun just destroying glass for the sake of it. Yeah. I think we also learned some stuff. I've, I saw some stuff I've never seen glass do before, this included. I think a sticker is all it takes to keep some of it yeah. together. Yeah, I found another one, like it had like a Sirius XM radio, like that one was held yeah. together. And We noticed we somehow managed to move up to 10% subscription rate, which means those of you that have been watching us lately, 10% of you are subscribed. So to the 90%, Let's uh, <laughs> let's get to 11%. 90%. Yeah, please consider subscribing. Um, if you want to see more glass stuff, we could definitely explore ballistic glass, um, yep. stopping bullets. We could actually explore shooting a car window when it's actually in a car. Maybe put a torso in there or a dummy to yeah. see how that interacts. Does it deflect? If so, how much? Those kind of questions. So how dangerous are the glass shards? Because right. we saw that it takes a lot of this dust goes with it. It just and... launches it. I mean, it's all the way back. Yeah. Into the backstop. Thanks again for watching. Uh, send us your suggestions for what we could do with glass in the future. Um, but please, again, subscribe. Let's get to 11%. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Don't. <laughs> Just showered it. What do you think I had the glove for? I don't know. <laughs>